Hello, it's your boy Butchies here, and I'm the creator of Pokemon Clandestine. Now, I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying that the game is either broken or that they're getting a black screen, and that it doesn't work. But it's a really easy fix, so what you're gonna need to do is click this link in the description, and it'll take you here to the thread. I mostly pay attention to my Poke Community thread, which is where I get most of my messages in the comments on the thread, compared to the Relic Castle one, but you can download it from there as well if you prefer Relic Castle. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to scroll down, and you're gonna see this downloads picture and just click on this link it's gonna link you to the mega download which it should say download instead of save just click on that and then you have the rar as you see it's a rar file and now if you don't have winrar or 7-zip i would suggest getting winrar because i just like it more and it's really easy to get it's technically not free but it's free at the same time it's a trial that never really expires after 30 days you just gotta kind of like close it so if you have a 64-bit, you click on this one. If you have a 32-bit, you click on this one. And if you have a 7-zip, if you want 7-zip, I suggest looking at a different video. But I would always suggest people to get WinRAR. Anyways, once it's downloaded, you can have this file. I put it to my desktop because it's just very easy to access. You double-click it. And as you see, this is the WinRAR trial notification thing. And you just drag this to your desktop. This will take about 40 seconds. Depending on how fast your computer is, it may be quicker, maybe longer, but for me it takes about 40 seconds. Alright, as you see, it is now done, so you can close the far file. You can technically delete it, you won't need it anymore, and then you just open up the regular folder. Now what most people do is they just run the exe, which is what you are supposed to do, it is technically the first step. And just click OK. Don't, don't type anything, just click OK. It's the easiest way to do this. Now unfortunately, as you see, the graphics file is separate from this folder, and that is because if I kept it in there when I um, compressed the game, it actually would have crashed the extraction and you wouldn't get the game and it would just wouldn't work. So I had to keep them separate, which is why most people actually get an error when they launch the game because what ends up happening is they don't move the graphics folder and they just launch the game. And as you see, you're just going to get a black screen. You can't do anything about it. And if you click, it just crashes, which is perfectly normal because the game doesn't have any graphics. It doesn't have the intro screen, doesn't have any character sprites, any of the Pokemon sprites, anything like that. So the really, really simple and easy fix is just to grab the graphics folder, throw it in there. That's all you have to do. After that, just click on game. And as you see, it's going to la launch. You're going to see the title screen. It's going to look as beautiful as ever. And you click enter, press it again, and voila it works hopefully this got to help people if not you can still leave a comment or ask me pm me on discord on any of the threads whatever and hopefully i'll be able to answer your questions anyways i really do hope this helped you guys and i will catch you guys on another video Bye bye